Hey guys, social security and taxes. It's a big topic. If you would like to know how taxes can possibly destroy your social security, stick around. Welcome to All About Others, where you can learn financial tips, tricks, and loopholes from holistic financial planners like myself. Hi, my name is James Laster, Master of Education and Master Financial Planner of Laster Financial Consultants. If the content you see is valuable and you want to support this channel, click the subscribe button. And remember that though it may be hard, proper planning makes execution easier. Hey there, what everybody knows is that pretty much uh, when you pay into Social Security, I mean, you have a job and you've been working 10 quarters, uh, I mean, 40 quarters or shall we say 10 years, uh, you've been paying into Social Security, one is to expect some form of Social Security. Now, I know the Social Security Trust Fund is in a little bit of trouble. Uh, we're on track to figure that out. But as of right now, what will it mean? if you are entitled to a large social security check because of what you have paid in so far. How is that going to affect your taxes and how much will you actually receive? Well, let's get after it. You know, social security is a very touchy topic for a lot of Americans. You know, you have the Americans who say, well, I'm not counting on social security. It's not going to be there when I get to the age to receive it. You have some people who are currently on social security right now thinking to themselves, is it going to be the way that they told me it was going to be while I'm on social security? All right. And then there's some people, all right, who are only on social security. That is their only form of income. I know I've talked to a lot of them. I've met a lot of them. And many folks are saying, James, is there any way that you can increase my social security check? Right? Uh, because even their checks are being reduced. So what I have done is I am providing everybody a quick case study on social security so you can understand how taxes will affect your social security. Let's get after it. All right. The decision to declaim Social Security is more complicated than you may know. Right. Um, you can literally trigger up to an 85 percent taxes on your Social Security benefits. Uh, did you know that you can get taxed two or three times on your Social Security? Were you aware of that? Many people are not aware of it, and many people don't know when they should take their Social Security. You see, if you go to ssa.gov and you check on your own Social Security benefits, you will see three dates that are there. What would it look like if you took your Social Security at age 62? Your full retirement is uh, Social Security age, whether it's 66 or 67, or the latest you can take it at age 70. So let's look at the federal income taxes on benefits. So if you're single and you're getting roughly about $2,000 or $25,000 a year from Social Security, uh, there's zero tax on your Social Security. And definitely if you're married, um, no more than $32,000. You're good to go. There's no taxes. <laughs> but look at those other numbers. My goodness, if you make up to $34,000, up to $34,000, you are getting taxed 50% on your social security if you're single and 44,000 if you're married. But anything over 44,000, anything over 45, 85% of your social security benefits are being taxed. Now, what happens to those folks who end up on social security disability? You know, there's social security, but then there's social security insurance, meaning that you are considered disabled by social security. So they're going to give you a little bumper, you know, on your social security check. How much is that worth? Well, if you see the numbers that are on the screen, uh, these numbers are relatively very low. Like if you're married, you know, it's about a $456. 
right? Oh, <laughs> and 40 cents. <laughs> Where did that come from, right? Well, those numbers haven't changed since the Reagan years in 1983. So the question I got to ask all of you, what is your gross versus your net? Yeah, there's this big number, this big pie in the sky that you think that you are entitled to get, that you think that you're going to get versus the reality of it, the net, what you will get. After all the taxes uh, and surcharges are pulled out, admin fees, how much will you actually receive in your social security check? Now, uh, I bring this up to you is because this is an example of what many people are getting from the social security administration right now. The Social Security Administration is sending out this letter as they are reporting people's benefits. And this letter is essentially, to be summarized, is simply saying, hey, guys, we're about to be insolvent. We're waiting on our politicians in Washington to figure it out. But it's looking like we're going to be insolvent. You see, before when Social Security was introduced, we had 26 for every one taxpayer paying into Social Security. Then it went down to 13. Right now, it's about 75 cents per dollar that's going into Social Security is, is, is being paid out to everyone who's on Social Security right now. Okay, So the average amount of Social Security dollars that uh, everyone is receiving, the average amount is about 18000 right, um, or, or 1500 a month. Now, yes, there's some people who are getting about $2,800 a month, 3000 a month, and then there's some people who are getting about $600 a month. But the average is roughly about $1,500 a month. Now, when I'm talking about taxes and how it affects your Social Security, I just want you to know something, okay? Remember, Social Security pays into your Medicare. That's when you turn 65, okay? So Part A, well, that's zero cost, but you have to accept Part A to be able to receive your Medicare benefits, okay? So Part B, you know, that's about $1,735. Part D, that's about $393. Uh, your supplemental plan, I, I recommend a lot of people just go ahead and get the supplemental plan. Go to the doctors as much as you want. Don't worry about it. Just pay your monthly premiums, no co-pays. That's always great, right? And then you have your drug co-pays. But holy smokes, what is the most expensive expense facing your Social Security? You see it? Taxes. Well over $3,000 in taxes on your dollars that you receive from Social Security. So once again, we're talking about gross versus net Social Security benefit income amount. Okay, so once again, so now we're back to the discussion again. When should you take your Social Security? Well, most folks, most clients that, that, that come in and stop and talk to us, we see an average. Anybody who saved about 400 to about 500,000 or more, most likely than not, it's better for them to maybe consider taking their Social Security dollars a little bit sooner rather than later. Why? Because they have more time to allow their their portfolio to grow, right, and hold on to more of their money while using those Social Security dollars to offset that amount that, you know, maybe they're allowing to grow. So if you take Ron and Denise, for example, right, you notice that there's a big difference of when they should take their Social Security and what level of planning they should do because they are in the 22% tax bracket, which means 85% of their Social Security will be taxed, which means more than a quarter of a million dollars will be taken away from them in Social Security taxes. I want you to think about that for a moment. Gross versus net. Gross versus net. So let's look at now a net comparison. A net comparison. Once again, when should you take your Social Security? Well, depending on how much money you have saved personally and how much you are entitled to in Social Security, there's a big difference for a lot of those folks who are choosing to take their Social Security a little bit earlier rather than later. Now, how would you know? Well, you got to sit down and have a tax planning session with a professional to help map this out for you. But you, you get the picture. So this is why we offer everyone definitely who's watching this video, who's a part of our webinars, uh, who go to our, 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 tra our trainings and, and receive our financial literacy resources. We offer these social security analysis to you all. OK, uh, all you have to do is just reach out to us when you are ready to get that analysis done for you. Look, I want to thank you for being a part of this video. I hope you learned about 
taxes and your social security benefits. And it's a topic that's really key to my heart because I know, I know, I know, I know people need to know this. Now look, if you like the information you receive, definitely like it and then share it. Uh, but more importantly, there probably were some things you already knew and things you knew that you didn't know. And of course, there's those things you didn't know that you didn't know. Well, if you're in that category of people, please reach out to us at 877-8-LASSER-OPTION-8 or more importantly, go to our website and book some time on our calendar directly by going to lasterfinancial.com. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.